Oh my goodness, there is so much newness in front of me that I need to share with you because I know that you're always interested in what's new and what might work for you. So this is the first of maybe two or three videos that I'm gonna be doing, but today I have all kinds of great things that I'm gonna share with you. But first of all, let's go ahead and let's take a look at what I have on because on this channel we do that. But remember that you can skip ahead with the timestamp right here if you don't wanna look at my clothes and my jewelry and all that, no problem. Just skip ahead we also have a numbering system one through however many we get through that will be down below that corresponds to whatever product i'm talking about so let's go ahead and take a minute and take a peek at what i have on today so i'm loving this shirt i have on it is just a t-shirt a white t-shirt uh, I get asked when I wear white t-shirts, how in the world do you keep your makeup from transferring? Short answer, I don't. I just treat them when I get them to the laundry. So I do like this t-shirt though. It is very long, almost tunic length. It does skim the top of the thighs right here. Or you can just pull it up and you know ruch it just a little bit if you want to do that. Love the princess neckline on this. This is a little bit heavier of material. So even though this is a white t-shirt, you're not going to be able to see through it. I love that about it. Little bit of a puff sleeve right here. And just a really pretty well-made t-shirt and it does come in quite a few different colors and also i did wear some crop pants today i talked about these last year broke them out because the heat is getting ridiculous where i'm at i love these cute little crop pants comes in all different colors stretch waistband don't have to worry about what we eat during the day and then it does have some cute little pockets on the back as well and for reference for you I am five foot seven and I'm 170 pounds. I'm wearing a medium in both the top and a medium in the pants and the pants stretch like crazy. So I would say that order your regular size. You don't need to size up or size down. They're going to work for you. So for jewelry, I just have a chunky necklace on that I've worn time and time again and it's never tarnished so far. It's just a piece of, of you know, fashion jewelry, not a real jewelry or a real 925 or anything like that, but I really do like it. And then the earrings are just a chunky hoop. I think these are the 40 millimeter. They might be the 50 millimeter, but they are hollow. So they're very lightweight and easy to wear so I love those I'll go ahead and make sure that everything that I talk about today is listed and linked below for you including the makeup that I don't talk about that I do have on so let's get into all kinds of newness we're gonna start off with the elf liquid poreless putty primer this is awesome I have really been enjoying this this is very thin compared to the original putty primer but it does the job of blurring so well and I really do like the texture of it. Now, if you're somebody that likes a mattifying primer, I would say that this isn't super mattifying. Although it feels a little bit hydrating going on, it will set down. But I would definitely say that it's for somebody that is from dry to combo. If you're very oily, you might not like this as much as I have. I have a feeling that they will be coming out with several different versions of this because this is a really, really good one. Also today, I have on the new Laura Mercier real flawless weightless perfecting foundation now this is her skin tint my color is two three c2 toffee and that is just about perfect for me i really like this it does cover really well i will say that it's probably like a light to medium coverage it's not a super heavy full coverage but again if you're somebody that is very oily and you like a mattifying foundation this is not it. I feel like this is a very radiant foundation. It looks very natural on your skin and it can be built up for coverage. It's not a super long wearing foundation. I would say you're going to get anywhere from eight to 12, depending on where your skin does lie. My skin is very dry. And so I can get about, you know, 10 to 12 hours out of it before it starts to break apart at all. And that's usually around my nose and my chin. That's the normal for me. So I do think this is a very pretty one and I do think it's a little bit more radiant than we've seen before from Laura Mercier and I like it a lot. Speaking of radiant, to hit the market was the Tarte Shape Tape Radiant Concealer 
And this one is interesting because I feel like the radiance in this, if you're a Tarte Shape Tape fan and you love that full coverage, this the radiance in this gives you a little bit less coverage. And so what I did today is I put this one on, I let it set down a little bit, then I blended it in. It has the regular big, huge doe foot applicator that they all have. I feel like, again, this is probably a medium coverage, but you're gonna see that radiance poke through. That could be really good if you're somebody that really has very dry skin underneath their eyes it's hard to wear a full coverage or a matte coverage concealer you want something that has a little bit more life to it i think that you will like it if you like tart shape tape but it needs to be a little bit brighter for you or a little bit less coverage a little bit less drying this one is okay. better natasha denona has a new concealer as well the reason that i went and got this it was really expensive and i probably well it wasn't too much more expensive than the tart shape tape but i probably wouldn't even have tried this because i haven't had a lot of success with natasha denona's base makeup but i saw wayne goss do a video where he said that he felt like this might be the perfect concealer ever now do i feel like that i feel like somebody that doesn't have the super darkness can definitely just use this really lightly and get away with it and it's incredibly pretty I have super darkness so what I have to do is I have to almost paint it on buff it out just a tiny bit to where I have a very thin layer and let that thin layer dry down I'll put a, a video about doing it that way down below so that you can see that but what I have to do is I have to let that dry down almost to completely dry and then tap it out so this one is really good for coverage with a lightweight formula I feel like you will love it if you need something like that but I also feel like you can easily wipe too much away in the process so if you're somebody that just uses a little dot here a little dot there and then blends it out you're probably going to really love this one it's really pretty I will put down below what which one I have right here but I did go back this is a little too light I did go back and get a darker one so I'll put that one down below too on my eyes today I am using the NYX ultimate vintage jean baby I've not been a fan of this 16 pan palette from NYX in a very long time. I just found that they did not work real well for me. I will say that this one right over here, this is a topper. I'm not crazy about toppers. However, they made that white so pretty. That is a very saturated white, as you can see on my finger right there. They made that white such a pretty stark white that you can put that topper over it and it's really beautiful. Now, what I did on my eyes today was I used this one on the lid right here and it gave just a little bit of a grayish kind of brightness to my eyelid i also used this color in the corner and then this color right here which is kind of a saddle brown together in order to create the rest of the look and then i went in with a combination of this deeper brown and this one that looks like a gray bluish gray but it really is kind of a violet purple when you get it out and you're working with it so it's kind of a smoky deep purple I really did enjoy working with this and I'm surprised at the quality of it. There wasn't a ton of fallout, which I was very, very surprised about. And the mattes performed very well. Usually the mattes inside of these don't perform so good. So I was really pleasantly surprised at how well they did. Let me just show you the saturation on some of those. Take a look at that one. That's the deep blue over there. That was just one swipe and you could really darken that up if you wanted to. No patchiness on these darker ones either, which I'm really, really surprised. Very creamy and buttery as I stick my finger in there. I do like that very much about this particular palette. Again, this is the one that I have on my eyelid. Just beautiful. These are the shimmers or the metallics that are there. And I was really, really surprised and very happy with this palette. I think that if any of the other ones that they released at the same time are out and they are the same quality, you could pick up any of them. I also do want to mention that NARS came out with their Light Reflecting Eye Brightener. This is a really good product. The other day I didn't have any foundation with me and I actually just took a brush and went over every spot that I could find and then blended it out, buffed it out a little bit and this worked really well. I actually like this color a lot too. It really worked into my skin just about perfectly. So this, and I think this is called GoldenEye. No, I think it's GoldenEye. I think that's the name of it. Okay, we got that straight. So I liked that it covered really well without having to put more concealer on. It's that 
a little bit thicker of a cream product, not just a liquid product. So I was really impressed with this one. You do have to set this down because it is a cream. So again, you're gonna have to use your powder or you're gonna have to use your setting spray, whichever one you choose, but I really did like this one. Speaking of setting sprays, I got a new one from Hard Candy. This is the Stay and Slay setting spray. It says it reduces the transfer of makeup. I do like this one a lot. I love the product. I'm not completely on board with that sprayer. It's a little bit much. It did kind of leave a few little spits here and there. So it's one of those ones that you like the product, but you're not crazy about the delivery system, but the price point makes it worth it. This did help my makeup and the longevity of my makeup. Any of these that say there's actual setting sprays that extend the makeup, they're going to do that. So I did like this one a lot. Also, this is what I'm really excited about in this video, and it's this new Tarte. This is the new cream blush that they just came out with, and it is the Maracuja Juicy Blush. It's called Big Ego is the color. What this is, it's a shifting blush that works with your ph now they do have four different colors and i picked the brightest one because i wanted to see how it did on my cheeks and i think it did a beautiful job it's really interesting as you as you get it out it feels very juicy and when i say that i mean it feels wet it feels like it's not just a cream it feels like a liquid but then you put it on it blends out beautifully and it is something really special i was really pleasantly surprised by this and like i said there are four colors you can go more earthy or deep if you need to and then you can go brighter if you want to and yeah i'm really enjoying it i think that the color ph changing is really something nice because then you get your own custom color instead of just what's in the pan and i do know that if you're somebody that likes powder better they do have a powder version of this as well i do have two different mascaras that i want to talk about and i have the color cut excuse me i have the cover girl clea Cleopatra on this eye right here and then the other one is the falsy surreal from Maybelline and I have it on this eye right here now I built them up almost to look identical this one from Co covergirl has the natural bristle brush on it so when I get a natural bristle brush I feel like it does give me a lot more volume at the base of my lashes and then I work and I work and I work with them to try and get the length that I want. The one from Maybelline is also a natural bristle brush. And again, it gave me great volume, but not such great length. So that's kind of always my trade-off. I actually always do use a plastic bristle brush or a silicone brush after using one like this because I just like the length that it gives. I wish more companies would do the dual ended one where you got the regular brush on or the natural bristle brush on one end and then the plastic on the other end. That's my ideal mascara. The one from CoverGirl, it flaked at about hour 11 and 12. Wasn't terrible, but it did flake a bit. The one from Maybelline, I did not have that problem at all. But what was nice about both of these is that neither of them smudged and the fact that they were very easy to take off at night. But I can tell you that I will be using both of these many times over. I did really like both of them. And Physicians Formula did send me their little uh, trios of their butter bronzer. Now, I did not use the darker one. I'd like to save that one and be able to give it away to one of you. I'm just going to put that to the side. So they do have a deeper option. And I think it's really pretty that they put in this one that looks almost red. Hopefully you guys can see that. It looks kind of reddish in there. And I haven't swatched it, but it does look like it's a beautiful one. I personally today, just to warm up my face, I mix these two right here. I don't need a lot of dark color in order to get my bronzer. It's the same formula as you buy in the pan and individually. So this is great. It has that fragrance too. So if you're adverse to fragrance, you probably won't like that one. I do think that this one is a little bit too orange for me, but this one right here, but this one right here worked out just great for me. And I love the butter line from Physi Physicians Formula anyway. It's just really good. 
Also, I did pick up the Laura Mercier. This is her new translucent powder, but it's a, not necessarily a setting powder. It's Real Flawless Luminous Perfecting Pressed Powder. So what this is, is more of along the lines of a finishing powder. Now think Hourglass Ambient setting powder that one is definitely got a little bit of glow in that i would say that this one from laura mercier is very comparable to that one i did wear use this to set my under eyes and i have been enjoying it to set my under eyes so much i don't feel like it shows luminosity i just feel like it shows a reflective light which is very brightening and i do like this one so much the quality from Laura Mercier has always been really good. You're looking at a very beautiful powder that doesn't use any talc. It uses mica instead. So it's very finely milled and mica is reflective anyway. This seems to be a baked product with the dome like she has in many of her different products. I really like this one. I think it's very, very pretty and I've been using it a ton. Also, Revlon sent me a nice little care package, which thank you, Revlon, so much for thinking of me and keeping me on your PR list. Believe me, I don't get much PR. But what I was really interested in was this liquid liner that is their really super skinny tipped liner. I usually like pins. I don't like these ones that look like they have a brush, but what's cool is this is not a regular brush. It doesn't have bristles in it. It's just a fine tip one. And so you're gonna be able to get a very, very tiny line out of that. That was even bigger than what it did on my eyes. I used it on my top lashes today just to butt right up against those eyelashes and help give those eyelashes a little bit more oomph as you're wearing um, your mascara. It's also part of their Color Stay line, which it lasts a very long time. So you're gonna get all day wear out of this. I have really been enjoying this color and I think I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get the black black one because that's usually what I wear wear to really super tight line that top part of my lashes to make them look as voluminous as they possibly can get. So really have been enjoying that. ColourPop came out with their lip oil in a bunch of colors. These are two that I kept because they do have the little bit of reflect in them or the little bit, um, a tiny bit of glitter. It's not really glittery. It's just a really pretty shine. And I do like that they have the regular ones that are the shine as well without any sort of glitter or any sort of metallic look in them. This one's kind of a pink purple color and then this one has kind of a pinkish peach color in it doesn't really translate when it gets on your lips it is pretty much clear with just a little bit of that pretty reflect in it or that pretty metallic in it this is more of a treatment but I have noticed that at the end of the day even though it may have worn off I do feel like my lips are still soft and supple and that's why I wanted to make sure I shared those with you lip oils are all the rage and I feel like Colourpop did a really good job with their lip oil as well let's end on a very high note now refer has forever had my favorite eyelash curler ever and that is this one right here and I don't know if you can see that very well or not but the curve on it is not that it's not that pronounced that curve on it so many eyelash curlers when I put them up to my eyes it will hit here and hit all the way out there and I feel like the base of my lashes aren't getting curled at all this eyelash curler did the job and then some but they came out with this one and you can see as I hold them side by side this is the one that has less of a curve and this is the one that has more the one that has more, I don't know how they did it, but it still gets my eyelashes curled without hitting either side and I get that nice curl. So both of these are great. If you feel like you haven't had much success with the refer one, the original one, try this new one. It might be perfect for you. Now, a lot of people's lids are more rounded this way whereas some people's is a little bit more flat, which I feel like mine is. I'm gonna still stick with the original, but I was glad to have this alternative too to be able to bring you. I don't think any company that I know of has done that, where they put out two different ones because they they know that not everybody has cookie cutter lashes, not everybody has cookie cutter eyelids. So Refer has just once again been innovative and done two different ones. I think that's fantastic. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy 
January, seeing my lineup of all the newness that's out there right now that I've been gathering for a while and testing for a while. Please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so right now. I would love to have you here and you get notified of all of future videos if you ring that little bell. Take care of yourselves. Love you so much, everybody, and we'll be back together very soon in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.